hey welcome to another video in this video we are going to talk about a really cool tool that i came across when trying to build an admin panel so it is called orchid it allows us to create a really customizable admin panels so i will just give you a demo what we can do we'll create a advanced crud data table with a really less line of code so first thing let's install it so we can install it on any existing project with this command composer require open up terminal uh, just run that command i have already run that so i'll not do that once uh, this is complete you can run orchid install and it will do all of the heavy lifting it supports laravel 8 as well so this will override this app model user model if you don't have your user model inside models folder you have to manually put a user class that uh, this command will tell you to do just see in terminal and it will uh, do all the setup stuff this command does so once uh, this install command is completed we have to create a new admin user so it will create a admin with name admin and email admin and password this password all right so once uh, these three steps are done you can do bsp artisan sub to open this project or any project in your browser so that's it uh, with that all installation steps are complete once steps uh, are complete you can just visit slash admin and here you can log in okay once you are logged in you will see this admin panel it contains some example pages that you can get rid of so what we'll do in this video is we'll create a new menu item products and this products will list uh, all the products in our table and we can just view the table we can edit it we can update remove and in data table section we can even filter them by name suppose we want to filter all the name with dr in them there we go we can filter by price we can filter by shop and actions as well so i'll put this code up on github i'll put the link on description just check that out on description section all right so let's start first thing first we need to create this product space to create all this crud we just need one file or one class that orchid help us to generate which is called a screen so in orchid they call this page as a screen and you have to run the screen command to generate that you can also see that on the data management section they show the example by doing this so we we just need uh, these two command php artisan orchid screen and post edit screen and post list screen so by name you can understand this list screen will just show data table and all filtering stuff and this edit screen will do create and edit so this this will just show the form to edit and create and similarly we have to define these routes so we'll do that now let's go to code open up terminal just run php artisan orchid screen one is product screen we'll create that so once this command is done we will see app orchid here screens you can see product screen so it will have this kind of file and it has query command bar 
and layout so what this tool does is we don't have to edit any blade file it takes the view part or blade section out of the way and we only control everything from the single class from data we control whole layout so in product screen you might not see all this code suppose here name description in this page this is the name and this is the description we can change the description anything we want and we can see the description over here okay so once this screen is created we need to define this route so route is defined inside routes and there is a new file called platform we have to define that there so we can define like this route screen products and then product screen and you can name it whatever you want so this is the route that we defined just defined now so to, to save some time i have already defined this route so once this route is defined we need to put this route on this sidebar over here then you can see products so to put that there we have to go to app orchid and platform provider so in platform provider you can see already there are some item menu items that these are you can get rid of them if you want to make it clean so i i can get rid of all these tool that comes with the default installation and here on register main menu i just keep one item so we define like this item menu class label products or you can give anything you you want and you can give the icon class and then route name so once you define this item menu you'll see this on the sidebar let me refresh there we go we have just get rid of all default code you can study that if you want to create all customized menu items so now we see this and this points to this route that we just defined on platform where we define here platform.php inside route this route name all right so once uh, that is defined we go to product screen and here we have defined name we have defined description that will show on here and here and here in query we'll get to this section in a moment let's go to this command bar section so in in command bar i've defined a link so this link will generate this link so if you want to create multiple links let's say download save it and it will automatically create that on here really cool so you can point this to any route that you want right now right now i just defined the create new button which will point to platform product edit this route will create in a moment and here in layout section we have defined the table data table so the way we define data table is like this we have to call layout class and then table and this is the key from where we will fetch the data so this products key corresponds to this query products and whatever comes from here will be passed to this table and it will loop through it and then display all the product so the simplest way you can define product is like any column is like this td set price or td just set name description like this and when you refresh you should see the name description all right we can even see price all other fields so here are a lot of data that's why i have just 
uh, strip this description using substring and only showing 10 words so you can alter that by this render function now we should only see the strip version of description only 10 words so that everything is visible similarly you can do for name as well i have made this product name column editable so whenever we click on name it will display the edit screen similarly we have shown price you can use render function to customize the what, what is displayed in price and similarly in shop i have just used the render function to display the shop name all right similarly action will take us to the edit page this route so to make any column sortable just put the sort method on that and it will make this sortable so currently our name is sort we can sort by name if we click on name like so Here also you can put the default sort default sort by default if we want to sort by name we can just put that there so we are using this latest fast latest that's why this sort will not work you can customize query the way you want because it's all laravel related queries nothing new and this is how we define table and to make uh, something filterable suppose we say this name we want to filter by name we only have to put this this line of code filter td filter text so this will just display the form in the default form and yeah that's it once you put this filter this icon will show and to make this icon functionable we have to go to query section and just put filters here all right so one more thing to make this product filterable because we are calling all these methods custom methods on this model we have to add a trade orchid trade on this product model just go to product model and just put add source trade and filterable also if you are using laravel 8 it will have as factory by default by the way i have already created product model and product table just to work with this example clearly create product table so in product table i have this name id description price cover image shop id these fields and i have populated products table with some dummy data like so so once our model and migration all tables are in place we can just create an admin section with this one class product screen and it will create this page and we can do all filter sorting thing so next part whenever we do on create new we should see this form right so to create that form we have to again go to our terminal and create a new screen class using php artisan orchid screen orchid screen and we call it product edit screen and hit enter and it will create this product edit screen so the screen class will be same it will have name description and it will have this query and command bar that you see on the top this command bar and it will have a layout so a layout is what you see on the page here in 
this bottom section and command bar is up there so in layout we have created a layout of rows and we have created the input field three input field one for product dot name and it will have product title or product name whatever you can put in title section so only thing to consider is this product dot name so this should match the db column name and these should match so we are just grouping them in product array that's why we do this dot notation price so whenever you put this it will show the this form okay so next thing once we show the form in command bar if we type something and create product it should create new product right so to do that we have this create product um, button and this button will call this method create or update so it is quite easy just do the make if you want to put icon just call the icon method if you want to uh, perform the action just call method and name of method and this can see will just uh, make it visible or invisible according to whether it is edit page or create page so this exist will here by default exist will be false and in query section we are just making this exists true or false depending upon whether product is exist exists or not so by the way this product is coming from our route whenever we hit edit route we'll have this route model binding and we can grab the product from our route So similarly we have create button if we are editing we have this update button and for removing we have remove button and these are calling this remove method create or update now let's go below we can define create or update just we are filling the form and performing alert and redirecting to list page similarly for removing we are deleting showing alert message and redirecting that's it so with this two class we are all set for CRUD with data table. All right. So here, if we do create new, it will take us to this product page. And here we see the product create form. New product. And just to create. We can just filter new product apply yeah we should see our just created new product if we go to edit if you see this route here we have 48 and it will grab the product and in this product screen we get the product from here and exist is true then this will be true and we saw so the update button instead of create see here update and remove so wow let's make this updated uh, updated one let's make this price 45 updated uh, updated one price 45 everything works All right, so this is it about uh, creating a simple product management page using Orkit with uh, very few lines of code, and it is quite as uh, quite maintainable, quite customizable. You can customize how these each column look. You can customize this button. You can add any rows, all filter. You can perform advanced filters. You can put anything on this command bar area like export to PDF, uh, whatever so i will put this code uh, you can study that code as well or if you go to this documentation you can study these tutorials also uh, this will uh, give you basic idea about that and you can uh, read ease of this screen so it has slight learning curve uh, not that much once you learn it will be uh, really quick and customizable 
So let me know in comment section what you feel about this tool and I will see you on another video. Bye.